all right everybody who clicked on this video um, is having trouble trying to reconnect their Xbox controller after trying to overclock it to their PC and they ended up having trouble with uh, the child name if you watched um, Shotzi's video actually you go through all the steps and then all of a sudden right here in child in child names um, this turns red and you can no longer play with your controller so um, I found a fix for this basically um, I mean if you were to do this you'd run the setup and then go over to all devices and here's your Xbox controller and I actually got this to work after um, it failed basically um, in the child names right here this was red and my Xbox controller was not connecting to my PC um, in order to uh, you know play some Vanguard it's a pretty simple fix you're just gonna wanna go to your search bar and type in device manager and then here at the bottom Xbox peripherals you're gonna wanna click this arrow and then right click the Xbox controller and then uninstall this device and it says you're about to uninstall this device from your program that's fine uninstall so it's gonna take a second to uninstall the Xbox controller and then what you're gonna wanna do is just plug it right back in to the USB-C and then all of a sudden the Xbox profiles will load back in and it'll also set up the device so that's basically a simple fix on how to reconnect the Xbox controller after having some problems after your controller is reconnected to your PC uh, you can actually still overclock it uh, without running into any problems all you have to do is go back into the folder click driver and then setup I'm gonna click yes and then go to devices and then all and here's the Xbox controller right here and then just go over under child names and uh, make sure that this is highlighted and then all you're gonna have to do is click install service open and then go to where this says default click a thousand filter on device you want to click yes and then install service and then open and uh, this should work and if uh, for whatever reason it did not work and this turned red again just go back to your device manager and uninstall the Xbox controller um, and then just plug it back in so yeah uh, I hope that helped you guys out and um, leave any comments if you have any questions Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.